This is Eoyo, Spain's luxury high-speed train operator that might just be the best in Europe. From the premium onboard dining to the brand new stylish first-class seats, running between Madrid and Barcelona at speeds of up to 300 km per hour, we'll explore in this video just why this high-speed train is the one to emulate, as I take you on a journey with Eoyo on board their perfect high-speed trains. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm here at the beautiful Madrid Atocha railway station. Atocha is one of two main gateways to high-speed trains here in the Spanish capital, with the other one being Chamatin, located further to the north. Unfortunately, due to renovation works, it's no longer possible to enter the main station from the front, but instead we have to use one of the side entrances. So best to make sure you arrive here in plenty of time, so you can navigate your way around this massive station. But you will want to arrive here a bit before your train, as this is one of Europe's best train stations. Just look at this indoor garden, it's beautiful. And of course the station also features plenty of shops and restaurants, and in general just the aesthetic here is great, it has to be one of my favorite stations in Europe. Before you can access the high speed platforms, you have to go through a brief security check. It's just a quick scan of your bags, as well as passing through a metal detector, and there's no restrictions on liquids. Once you have passed through it, it's just a matter of finding your platform, which today looks to be right over here at track number 8, where we already can catch a glimpse of this beautiful red high-speed train. There's a brief ticket check before being allowed onto the platform, but then you can just head down and find your carriage. But first, I had to go and have a look at our train. This is a Fecherosa 1000 high-speed train, designed by what was Bombardier and Ansoldo Breda, and they operate at speeds of up to 300 km per hour. And it's time to get on board this train. I'm so excited for this journey. I'll be traveling in the Infinita class, which is the best offering on board. Featuring these large Grand Comfort XL seats. And up above, you will find some luggage racks. And shortly afterwards, after settling in, we depart Madrid here, right on time. The platforms are super long, having space for two high-speed trains to occupy them at the same time. And we have barely left the station before the onboard service starts. With a hot towel being provided first. Leaving Madrid, we first have to spend some time running at slower speeds as we navigate our way around the urban area. But it's only shortly afterwards we can begin accelerating towards 300 km per hour. And now seems like a great time for me to show you the route map for today's journey. We are traveling on board Eoyo train number 6131, leaving from Madrid Atocha railway station. We only have one brief intermediate stop in Zaragoza before arriving into Barcelona Sanz station, after a scheduled journey time of 2 hours and 45 minutes. During this time we cover a distance of 626 km, giving the train an average speed of a whopping 227 km per hour. Shortly after having reached 300 km per hour, the onboard service continues with some chocolate covered nuts as well as sparkling wine. Our progress and speed can easily be followed from the plentiful information screens located throughout the carriage. But the real star of this train has to be the onboard food service, which was included with my ticket. I mean, what a way to travel, some Spanish tapas while passing through the countryside at 300 km per hour. I think this was some of the best onboard train food I've ever had, especially considering this was served at my seat and not in a proper dining car. Every single thing on the plate from the hummus to cheese was super tasty and I finished every drop of it. Hello, next station, Zaragoza Delicias. Please take care when disembarking. And man, time flies. We are roughly halfway through our journey now as we approach the station here in Zaragoza. And after a brief stop here, we are now on our way towards Barcelona. 
Oh, and by the way, if you're a bit of a train geek like me, there's a hotel inside the station here. With rooms offering great views of the trains. I highly recommend staying here if you ever find yourself in Sargosa. But for us, it's time to begin accelerating up towards 300 km per hour once again. I've shown you the food, so now it's time to show you the seat. They feature these large tray tables that are very sturdy. A nice big footrest, as well as a bin, and there's a power outlet down here. There's a padded armrest, as well as a recline button. The seats has a good firmness, and are very comfortable. So, thumbs up EIO, these are great. So you might be wondering, what is EIO, since Renfe is Spain's national train operator? Well, they are an open access private train operator run by a joint venture between Trenitalia, the Italian national railway company, Air Nostrum, a Spanish airline, and Global Via, an investment fund. They launched their services in November of 2022 with service along the Madrid to Barcelona route, but has since then expanded service to first Valencia, followed by Seville and Malaga, and now most recently to Alicante. On these routes they have competition from the likes of Renfe, Avlo and Vigo, which are the three other high-speed train operators here in Spain. It's a stunning day for some high-speed travel here in Spain. And when the views aren't obstructed by viaducts and other things, there's some pretty nice scenery too. But if the outside views aren't enough, we can take a look at the rest of the inside of the train. The cheapest offering on board is Initial and Singular, which still has these very comfortable seats, but in a 2 plus 2 layout. By the doors to the vestibule there is some luggage racks and across the train you will find free Wi-Fi and power outlets and these seats just look to be a narrower version of the ones found up in Infinita. There's no food service included with your ticket in these travel classes but it's possible to purchase from the onboard bar which I will show you in just a moment. From here it's possible to purchase snacks, drinks, wine, sandwiches and it looks to be of a similar quality to the stuff found up in Infinita I was served earlier. On board you will also find Singular Only You, which uses the same seats as Infinita but in a different color. This class does not come with the same flexibility and food service though. In between the carriages is where you will find the toilets, located in the vestibule. It's looking fairly clean, as you'd expect from a brand new train. It has a nice simple locking mechanism. The water is working. And so is the very quiet dryer. So, thumbs up here you, this is looking good. And towards the rear of the train is where you will find Infinita on today's departure, which takes up two carriages laid out in this 2 plus 1 layout, which is very spacious. And as you could see, the train was really really busy today, which is great to see, especially considering this was filmed in March, just four months after they launched their service. It's great to see so much competition on high demand corridors like this. And now, as we approach Barcelona and I tell you about the fares, I'm sure you will agree. Yoyo offers tickets between Madrid and Barcelona for as little as 14 euros, and unlike the low-cost operators, these tickets come with flexibility. And if you want to try out Infinita like I did in this video, tickets start at roughly 40 euros, which is a bargain if you ask me. Prices vary based on demand and how close to departure you're purchasing your ticket, so book well in advance, if you can, to get the best deal. I paid 70 euros for my ticket booked roughly 3 weeks in advance on the EIO website, which I still think is great value considering the service offered, the distance travelled and the flexibility to change my ticket on the day for no additional fee. The affordable fares, combined with the excellent seat, onboard amenities, food and easy to use website <coughs> Renfe, makes me think that this is the best high-speed train operator currently in Europe. 
but let me know in the comments if you agree or have any other contenders. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, here we are approaching Barcelona Sands railway station after an excellent journey. Thank you so much for joining me on this trip. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I try to upload a new video every Sunday. You can also follow me over on Twitter at InterCitySimon, where I post live for my travels. That's a great place to get a sneak peek at what videos might be coming in the future. Thanks for watching.